guys, it's Dylan Lane, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to steal good ideas for your original songs. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. I post lots of songwriting tutorials, cover songs, original songs, and music tutorials. Before we get started, I've made you a cheat sheet to go along with this video. It'll have all of the information that I teach you so you can download it, print it out, and have it right in front of you. I'll post a link to that in the description box down below. There's often a negative connotation when it comes to stealing or copying good ideas ideas for your original songs. And while there is a completely illegal way to copy and steal ideas, such as copying everything verbatim, there are also many ways to legally and creatively steal aspects of songs that you would like to incorporate into your own songs. Many writers feel like stealing creative ideas from other songs makes them less of an artist or creative or original individual. But in this video, I'm going to explain how that is not the case. Why steal ideas? If you listen to a song and you are particularly drawn in to one aspect of that song, there is a high chance that you will subconsciously incorporate that aspect into your own song whether you try to or not. And that is because every songwriter that ever existed ever did the same exact thing. We all subconsciously or consciously pull ideas from things that we like and turn it into our own version of something. In fact, it is impossible to create something that is 100% original. For me, realizing this truth was extremely liberating. Once you realize that stealing ideas you like does not make you any less original or creative, it gives you the liberty to then choose what you want to incorporate into your music. And once you choose the ideas you want to incorporate into your songs, you can then take those ideas, subtly rearrange it, and make it your own with your own original twist. This brings me to my next point. How can you steal ideas without making it sound like you directly copied another artist? As I mentioned a moment ago, you'll want to subtly rearrange things and give it your own original twist. For example, if you fall in love with a melody of somebody else's song, take that melody, put it in your own song, but rearrange the notes. And to take it a step further, if the melody that you loved was the chorus of that song, in your song, make it a verse. So take the melody of a chorus you love, put it in your own song, put it in the verse, and rearrange the notes. That way, it has a similar influence, but it doesn't sound identical or verbatim of the original chorus. Another example would be if you wanted to steal a song's chord progression that you really love and make it your own chord progression. Now this one is probably the most simple because chord progressions have been used over and over and over again in songs forever and ever and will always be used over and over again. So this should be the least of your worries when it comes to making it your own. But if the chord progression you're stealing happens to be incredibly unique, then it might be good to rearrange some of those chords or maybe take one out and put in a different one. Another way to subtly change the chord progression so that it has your own original twist would be to slow it down or to speed it up. This way, your chord progression doesn't sound identical to the chord progression from the song you stole it from. Now let's talk about stealing lyrics that you love. This one is going to be the most complicated to take and make your own. Lyrics can be very personable, they can be someone's specific story, and most of the time, lyrics are very creative. So if you find a creative lyric that you love and you want to use it in your own song, you're definitely gonna have to do some work to make it your own. But again, something you could do is take out some or several of the words in that line of lyrics and put in your own words. Make it about you, make it about your story, but keep the aspects of the lyric that were you were drawn to that made you want to use it in the first place. Something that might be good to do if you are copying aspects of somebody's lyrics would be after you've rearranged things and after you've made it your own, have a friend listen to it. Don't tell them what you did. Don't tell them that you were influenced by another song. Just show them your song and ask them, do you, what do you think? Do you notice anything about these lyrics? And if they can point out that it sounds heavily, heavily influenced by other lyrics, or if they point out that it sounds very similar to other lyrics or like you're copying them, then that is a good indicator that your lyrics are have not been rearranged enough to sound like your own. So in that case, I would continue to do some rearranging or taking words out and putting your own words in. But if they listen to the song and they say, wow, beautiful song, and they can't pinpoint any of the lyrics or where you're influenced from, then I would say that you have done a good job of rearranging and putting your own original twist on the lyrics. 
Last, I'm going to talk about the story of a song. So if there's a song that you love and you're particularly drawn to it, not specifically for the creation of the lyrics or the chord progression or the melody, but more so just the story behind it, the story that influenced the song, you can take the story that influenced that song and make it your story or um, turn that story into something that pertains to your life and then let that influence your own song. So that too is a good way to uh, take an idea that you love, steal it, make it your own, and turn it into a song that you love that you wrote. Remember there is no such thing as a 100% original song. I hope you feel inspired to now consciously go out there and steal good ideas that you can put into your own songs. Thank you so much for watching and again I'll post a link to the cheat sheet in the description box down below so you can download it, print it out, and have it right in front of you. Until next time, goodbye!